Hey, hey, Muriel from the Sunshine Family today talking about Costa Rica facts and Costa Rica news today and where you can find everything that you're looking for. Um, it, you might be here on my channel because you're looking for information about Costa Rica because you want to vacation in Costa Rica, but it also might be that you're here and you found my videos because you're looking to uh, relocate and to move to Costa Rica. And it's my pleasure and honor to serve you with everything I have learned so far because I moved to Costa Rica back in 2018. And on my channel, I share everything I have learned so far because my husband Dirk and our two children live here uh, on the mango farm uh, and we never regretted a day. And thanks to all the questions I received so far, I'm serving you with this content. And I received this question, like where do I find information about uh, COVID? Where do I find um, how to do this, how to do that? And of course I can share a lot about it, but I am a better mentor if I'm resourceful and share with you exactly where you can look up the most up-to-date um, Costa Rica facts and Costa Rica news today, right? So what I will be doing, I will be making this more like a tutorial style video. I will be sharing my screen in just a bit, so hang on there, and I will show you exactly which Two important websites are crucial to, to have bookmarked uh, on your laptop or your computer or your device and um, how to navigate uh, on YouTube and Facebook to find other information that you're looking for. So you will never be informationless because I'm going to share with you and show you exactly how you can keep up with all the daily Costa Rica news and information to find. Uh, so you don't have to miss out on any uh, important updates or news whatsoever. So let me start sharing my screen uh, right now. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, um, this is my YouTube channel. You see me somewhere here on the screen talking, if I'm correct. Uh, this is my YouTube channel called uh, the Dirk and Muriel, the Sunshine Family. Thanks to all of you guys and all the subscribers. This is, by the way, Dutch. Um, I have over 2K subscribers, which I feel super humbled about. Tells me that people are liking my content, but without your questions, without your comments, I am uh, steerless. So help me out. Comment below every video. Tell me if you have questions like my video, subscribe to my channel, of course, if you haven't done that yet, that way you support my channel and uh, tell others about my videos if you think it can benefit. And of course, let me know if you have any feedback or things to add because I'm serving this for you. Now, um, that was like a, a little a side path. Um, let me dive right in the content, the Costa Rica facts and Costa Rica news today and where you can find it. Well, the very first uh, page that I want you or recommend you to bookmark is um, about, um, let's start with this one, um, about um, medical things. Look here in the, to this link, ministerio de salud dot go dot cr, right? I want you to bookmark. Uh, this page, let me just this here, bookmark this page. And um, the cool thing about this website, if there's an objection number one already, and you don't speak Spanish or don't speak Spanish that well, or don't speak Spanish yet, at the top right of this website, you can select your language. And for example, you can put it in any language in, uh, what's this like, for example, Bulgarian and it will translate into Bulgarian. So there is no language objection here to be updated. Let me turn it back to English. Um, so you can follow, for example, COVID-19 updates, uh, how many cases, but also you see like, this is, a, this is a big website, a very important one. There is about the ministry, formalities, about, for example, let, let's 
let's go here. Let me show you what's on here. A mission for a mission and vision about the Ministry of Salud. Organization structure, directors and heads, institutional models and frameworks. Um, Google's popping up things, but just you can go here on the search bar for melodies information. So, you know, about food handling, medicines, registered products. You can, I think, I bet that you can find a lot of your questions according to medical stuff here, right? So this is connected to the government and this is official information, right? So if there's news about COVID um, uh, uh, somewhere online uh, and it's official, it should be found here, right? So this is a very number one important resource. Um, the cool thing about ministry, the salute.co slash CR is that they are also on Facebook. Let me show you where to find them on Facebook. Just scroll down at the homepage and you see here some icons. So you can find them on Twitter. You can find them on Facebook. You can find them here, but I'm, let's focus on Facebook. So I'm gonna click the Facebook icon. And what you find is that they have a Ministerio the Salute Facebook page, which of course I liked and it's in English. That's the cool thing. And there is more or less, it's a Facebook community uh, sharing all the most important news. So I think this is cool. I think Facebook is really accessible for everyone. It's easy to scroll on your phone. I believe the most important updates they place here. Uh, so just take the time and scroll down uh, to see what you wanna know. And also here on the right side, you see where they are situated, what's the, the location in San Jose, how to, uh, when they're open, um, their phone number. So basically, it's a very easy, accessible way to the Ministerio de Salud on Facebook. So that is basically resource number one. I really recommend you to look into if you're looking for Costa Rica facts and Costa Rica news today, according to medical stuff right and let's be real we're living right now it's october 2020 so COVID is a hot item now the second resource i want to refer you to is this one and that is the tico times so the tico let, i am scrolling myself left and right uh i think it's good that you keep on seeing me the tico times is a website you can find it in the search bar by typing in ticotimes.net here on the top left of my page ticotimes.net and what will pop up is an english uh website you see it since 1956 uh, they're active and they have a lot of categories you can look into the home page where i'm on you see like all the highlights right um you can even subscribe to the best of the tico times straight to the inbox so they select the most important news topics for you and you can just click your inbox your email and you see them with one uh one eye uh how do you say that right away when you open up your inbox about covid about travel about fishing about culture and about all kinds of categories right so this is an awesome awesome um resource to look into uh about general stuff uh for example right now there there's a big block blockade, a protest. So for us, for example, it's good to be updated with this uh, Costa Rica news today about blockades because we live on a peninsula. We're surrounded three parts by ocean and we need to get on the ferry to get to San Jose, the shortest way, besides flying, which is unpredictable in rainy season. So if there's blockades to the road to, um, uh, to the ferry, uh, I can't get through. So I uh, would always uh, catch up this uh, Tico Times website to see where the blockades are, what's, what's, uh, what's happening and what to expect and if it's smart, yes or no, to travel to the ferry, right? So this is how you can use this information resource. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's easy to find. It's very expat friendly. So for Costa Rica expat, this is an awesome resource. But also if you're looking uh, you know, for Costa Rica travel, uh, yeah, bookmark this page and, be, and update yourself. Uh, also, the Tico Times have a fan page 
on Facebook. So I click that little icon on the website as you saw me doing, and it will bring you to the Tico Times, which of course I liked. And it's the same as with the Ministerio de Salud. Uh, they have their, their information, where they're situated, highlights, and it's an easy read, right? There's updates, there's news, there's just information. And uh, yeah, uh, this, is, this is the two most important informational government. Well, the Tico Times is not specifically created by the government, but it's, it's two of the most important resources. Just remember that. Then I have uh, two other resources, which I recommend you to, to dive into if you're looking for Costa Rica facts and Costa Rica news today, really updated topic but from another angle, right? Shared by other groups of people, not specifically by the government or a newspaper. Um, it is uh, Costa Rica community groups. So what is more super, super locally happening? So for example, you're moving to uh, the community where I live, right? Close to where I live is for example, Santa Teresa. Okay. So what you're going to do is go to Facebook and you type in the search bar, Santa Teresa. Okay, so you're going to see this group. It's called What's on Santa Teresa. Now, my task for you is that there's many Costa Rica um, expat or visitors friendly resourceful groups with um, businesses um, promoted like what's going on when there's a party, when there's a restaurant, having specific offers, uh, the best yoga studios, like all things that's happening. Like there's this, this moon ceremony, uh, there's this, I don't know, um, a Czech, uh, Czech concord where there's jujitsu, where there's gyms, like all stuff is happening in specific communities. If you, for example, live in, uh, in another area, look up the area, like for example, Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Um, there are groups, um, hold on. Well, let's say expats here. If you type in the word expats in the search bar, um, you're gonna see, or expats Costa Rica, just scroll a little bit there, right? You're gonna see expats locals in Escazú, Santa Ana, Lindora, Pavas. So this is like more for that area, that's a community, right? Expats in Cuanacaste, that's more north where we are. Um, there is several community groups, but uh, yeah, so this is like something that I have taught you here, how to get um, local updates, a very community related updates. Um, and I wanted to show you Santa Teresa because, of course, I want to support my own community. Um, and because I love Santa Teresa, that's why I moved close to Santa Teresa, a little bit more inland. But why, how, how does it look like a community group? It's just, it has a lot of members. This group is a very active group. Um, why I use this group personally? and not to promote my own business. I don't have a brick and mortar business, but I see local businesses promoting themselves, which is allowed. So if there's like a new yoga workshop in this or that yoga studio, it's like, hey, Saturday morning special uh, offer, blah, de, blah, de, blah, come here. This is the price, this is the location, etc. So it's awesome to be on top of new stuff. Uh, but also if you wanna ask something here, Chantel, she's saying, hello, I'm looking to buy a bicycles. Anyone selling? So this is just five minutes posted, so no one responded yet. But um, here, for example, does anyone have any flutes or drums they would like to sell? Boom. Uh, three comments. PME, I don't have for sale, but you can come to play. So here is uh, expats, uh, tourists, vacation people, travelers are helping each other in the community by exchanging knowledge, exchanging services, um, and helping one another with ideas or information. I have received a lot of help here. So yeah, let me just scroll down. Um, I know Hudson has, for example, an awesome, um, an awesome bar in, uh, in Kabuya with live music. Uh, I know that Bianca is, is doing awesome uh, workshops. You know, a lot of these people I know, they're my community mates, so to say. Uh, I meet them when I'm going dancing or in town or whatever. So 
yeah, I think it's good that you always connect with your community Facebook group and you can decide whether you're going to be active there or not, or just use it as a resource to look things up. Sometimes I just look up when I want to dance, uh, if something is going on on Friday night, because then I'm, I'm ready to go. That's my tip number three on how to, uh, to, to learn what's going on, uh, updates, facts, and Costa Rica news today um, related to the community. And the fourth way of getting information about Costa Rica is of course, now let's do a little self-promotion, but I, you know, it, it's really sincere. Um, a lot of people find my videos because it's fully focused on, for the Costa Rica expat, um, Costa Rica lover, Costa Rica tourist, because I just share everything that I learned along my way, uh, living in Costa Rica and being in Costa Rica. So that, um, yeah, basically you can tune in my YouTube channel. Just subscribe here. Um, on the screen, I will make sure that there's a little pop-up saying click here to subscribe on the screen, but that only happens when it's, um, when it's recorded, uh, placed on my channel. So just click that pop-up and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video so you don't have to miss anything. That might be something that you already know. It might be something brand new. I always recommend people to watch my full videos because I always, while I'm talking, some new ideas pop up and I hear back from people that they learn so much in between because I share valuable stuff in between. And I do these videos spontaneously. I'm bad in editing. I like the raw stuff, the real stuff. Uh, so don't um, expect like a movie type of edited uh, video, but this is just, you know, you see what you get and you get what you see. Um, so I hit on topics like, do you really want to move to Costa Rica? Here are some cons. Uh, for example, just a vlog. I show daily stuff to get impressions, but also how to work remotely and online. For example, in this video, uh, I share how my business model was built, how you can do the same, what is affiliate marketing and why it's, if you ask me, one of the most um, successful, effective and uh, reliable way to generate an income these days with COVID when it's very hard to start a brand new brick and mortar business here in Costa Rica. If you have a Wi-Fi connection, uh, a laptop, uh, a smartphone, if you ask me, nothing stands in your way besides getting started with the right mentor, the right program to start generating commissions online, results not typical, but that's how I do it. If you want to learn more about that, you can scroll down and tap the very first link you see under every of my videos. Um, that's a little um, heads up. Uh, but then I also tap on um, simply beach impressions. Some people just want to see how does the beaches look like in Santa Teresa, for example, uh, or want to le learn more about my reasons for moving. But also I tap on education like unforeseen expenses, right? Uh, financially, people move to Costa Rica, come to move to Costa Rica and don't think about these costs. Um, basically, my channel was packed with information that I had to go through uh, by making lots of mistakes. So with pro uh, providing this information on video share, I, want, I'm, I am driven, th driven <laughs> to prevent you helping um, to make these mistakes. So, just scroll my channel, pros and cons of living in Costa Rica. The cost of living in Costa Rica is a big topic for a lot of people. I have a video here that's uh, where you can really calculate your costs uh, in Costa Rica. Just scroll my channel, but also just daily stuff, uh, how to um, apply for permits when you want to build a home. Well, I can keep going on and on and on, but I do my best to provide very uh, different types of information because there's a lot of different types of people, right? But in general, uh, YouTube can be seen as, besides my home channel of Dirk and Muriel slash the Sunshine Family, um, you can go to YouTube. So let me go to YouTube in general. Let me put myself aside here. And if you go to YouTube and type in, for example, I already did it, but I want to show you how it works. You go to YouTube, a homepage, right? YouTube homepage. You're going to go. So you want to become a Costa Rica expert or you are a Costa Rica expert. Just type in the keyword Costa Rica 
expat. And that's how I started to learn more about Costa Rica and how it would be to live Costa Rica expat, what pops up. Now my video happens to rank on page number one and the third one too, living in Costa Rica, how expat friendly is Costa Rica. Costa Rica, um, there's a lot to find about it on YouTube. See YouTube as your 24 seven online library. And there's a lot of people sharing stuff about Costa Rica. There's a lot of angles. There's lots of, you know, I always highlight that I'm a family. Family wise, I highlight a lot, a lot, but also according to working online and working remotely, that's like my angle of living in Costa Rica. But under the umbrella of my channel, I share a lot of stuff, but YouTube in general and Costa Rica, uh, let's see, Costa Rica living, no, wait, how to, let's say moving to Costa Rica or moved to Costa, oh, moved to Costa Rica. Let's say, I wanna hear stories about people who moved to Costa Rica because I wanna learn more, you type it in you see a lot of videos here people sharing stuff who moved to Costa Rica or sharing information about moving to Costa Rica and you know you can pick a lot of information from all these videos right so that is basically the four ways the four resources that I wanted to refer you to today in my video Costa Rica facts and Costa Rica news today where to find it don't 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 depend, for example, on my information only because information changes over time. So the Ministry of Salute would change their, their news, their rules, their regulations, their whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, you have to update yourself. So to live a successful, fully fulfilled and happy life, I'm not telling you to be on top of the news every day. I actually don't do that. I am kind of media fasting i'm an entrepreneur i love to feed myself my mind with positivity and but when i really want to know something i go to one of these websites uh, to touch base and to double check if the rumors that are here around me are true so with that being said i hope that i uh provided massive value today uh, again if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do that now go I had tap the icon you see here at the bottom of the screen, a little square icon with Dirk on my face. Tap it, hit the bell icon. You get a notification every time you, uh, I upload a new video. And of course, uh, connect with me. Go to the description under my video too. There's plenty of more information there, free resources. I've written an ebook, Seven Steps to Move to Costa Rica. Uh, it's a, a huge resource. Um, valuable bundle so to say I share every step that I took uh, before I moved and when I moved and after I moved from the Netherlands as a family to Costa Rica uh, you might find value in that and um, I also have for the people who are really interested in learning how to work remotely and online the way that I do as an affiliate marketer so when you don't have a product or service or business yet don't worry simply go to the very first link under my video tap it follow the steps learn more open up your mind and see if that is something that might fit you or not if you just want to watch my videos I uh, feel super humbled Thank you again. Looking forward to seeing you on my next videos. This was Muriel from the Sunshine Family. Have a beautiful day.